to Culver's. Not, not just, just any, any Culver's. Culver's. Oh my god. <laughs> Our perfect synchronization is just <laughs> mind blowing. Like the finger thing and everything. Not just any Culver's. Not just, Not just any, any Culver's. Culver's. in a carrier. I'm like 100% positive that we just watched like a safe exchange, a purchasing. Two ducks. Duck deal. Lady gave a dude two ducks. She got them out of her truck and then he put them in his car. I'm pretty sure we just watched a duck deal go down. If we go missing, y'all know, y'all know. know what's up. So this technically isn't the original Culver's, it's, it's the original the Culver's site. site. Also, I didn't realize it was around for 35 years. Holy crap. <laughs> Look at how excited her is. We're eating custard at the site of the original Culver's. You've got brownie bites with caramel, and I've got Snickers and peanut butter cup. Yep. So the first Culver's was great and all, but that was a detour. Where to next on our headed west trip? Boy. I wanna go to Fox. <laughs> <laughs> it was Funches. It was Fuchs. 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 We're actually on our way to Potosi? Question mark? Is that where we're heading? I believe so. Potosi Brewing Company. It's on the western side of the state, so it is a bit of a drive. Maybe if we bounce, no. then it won't look like the camera's bouncing. Six were good. One was a guest tap, and the one that wasn't good was a pumpkin beer, which pumpkin beers are kind of hit or miss. Potosi is literally in the middle of a valley. Nowhere. In the middle of nowhere on the edge of Wisconsin. Straight up, there's bluffs on both sides of this road. If you've 
get the chance to come over to the western side of the state, you definitely need to check this out. We're gonna cross over to the state border. We are going into Iowa, so that means crossing the Mississippi, which is in and of itself its own trip. The place that we're going is called the Shot Tower. In Dubuque. The Shot Tower is on the National Register of Historic Places. It's near the Mississippi River. It used to actually be part of an ammunition factory. So what they would do is they would drop molten lead from the top of the tower down to the bottom of the tower and it would form a perfect lead. Because there was uh, like water at the bottom. Yeah, so it, it'd be exactly perfect for making ammunition way back in the olden times before we shots, had those. Shots, if you will. Shots, 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 Wrong shot, shots. Wrong shot. <laughs> the building has been since abandoned. You can't go inside of it because a fire ruined all the wood inside. Yeah. The big tower. Oh, see it even shows you water cools the lead balls. Yeah, so they drop the molten lead from the top right into a bucket of water and it's perfect. It's like in a comparison to 34 to 2007. It's a little bit different. I feel like it got taller here. Carrie, you're not climbing in. dimensional brewing company. This one's one of the sours, isn't it? Oh, that is a really tasty sour. I mean, look at the color on this. Look at that color. Probably the other sour then. <laughs> Judging on the way you're serving that, you like it. Maybe. Mm, that's tasty. We have this really cool artwork behind us. Okay. Yeah. I'm just watching you be awkward in front of the camera. That's quite tart, and I love it. I guess what song's in my head? Yo, I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. No. Anyhow, Big. here's Wonderwall. <laughs> also, no. Oh, the Kool Aid Man? Nope. Taco Tuesday. Tuesday. I think it's time to move on. We're out of beer. Yep. Where are we now? Coralville, Iowa. And we are going to a mall. In 2018, the population of Coralville was 21,664. Why are we here? A little place called Zombie Burger. We are pulling into the Coral Ridge Mall right now where the Zombie Burger is located. You're welcome. Ribs. We're not getting baby back ribs though. You need two hands for that. I had two hands. The walking, walking Chad. So we have a bun made of mac and cheese and panko. Trailer trash zombie. Chicken fried bacon. Chicken fried bacon. Fried on pickles there. and cheese curds. Oh, and there's ranch on mine too. It's a little chilly in here because the mall also has an ice skating rink directly to my right. This is what we have for our trailer trash burger. We have the hamburger, fried pickles, and then the Kentucky fried bacon. Uh, chicken fried bacon. Chicken fried bacon. This is a burger to die for. This is not healthy. No. And you know what? I don't care. This is so delicious. Whoever the mad genius was to think of bacon and chicken fried and put it on a burger with cheese curds and fried pickles, you're crazy and I love you. I'm so I can literally feel my arteries clogging one bite at a time. I don't know if I can handle more burger. We just paid $20 for this. You're eating it. How are we doing this one? Not a clue. Like, even a single burger is just enormous. Well, the bun itself is the size of a patty. Oh my god, look at it ooze. There's, there's no way we can eat this like a normal burger. I'm just gonna have to eat it with forks and knives. Like we're barbarians. Look at that cheese. So this is what we've done to our mac and cheese burger. We had to cut it in half. Mac and cheese bun, mac and cheese, 
bacon, more cheese, caramelized onion, burger, mayo, or zombie sauce. It's probably the zombie sauce, which I don't know what that is, but it's amazing. Not a clue. And then mac and cheese bun. I love it. Do you love it more than your husband? I love it more than chicken. There's just no way you could pick it up. Like the, the trip looks big enough. Even the single is ridiculous. This is the best mac and cheese I've ever had. <laughs> I'm talking the deep fried stuff. Have you died and gone to heaven? Was this worth it? This was worth the trip. That's what I thought. I have a food baby. Well, let's go explore some nature. This is actually a really special place. How is it special? Where are we going? To Fossil Gorge. Yes, there's fossils there. That's what makes it special. But you make it sound like it's the first place that we had our first date. Or the okay. place that you proposed it's special. to this That was on our a... couch, by the way. This is now becoming an attack on me. <laughs> I feel personally assaulted. Go ahead, you should be. We're going to a fossil gorge in Iowa City. You can walk down in, into the gorge, you can find fossils all throughout. We're not gonna, Wolf we're animals. not taking any. I feel like it's probably against the rules to take stuff from there. We're gonna take a lot what? of pictures. <laughs> Giving me heart attacks here. We're going on an adventure down into the fossil gorge. This is kind of a long sidewalk. Like all over the place. Yeah, they're literally all over the place. So here's fossils. That's cool. This is all coral. Fossilized coral right here. That's why it's called coral bill, I bet. Yep. So this gorge is part of a dam that's behind the road up here. If the reservoir is flooding, they release it and this whole thing gets flooded as well. It's a little sprinkly. There's something in that rock. For some reason, I didn't think I was looking at any fossils, but then if you get really close to all of this rock, all these random chunks are just seashells. Like this whole thing is covered and just peppered in different fossils. Ah, uh, look, organic rebar. Found a couple of fossils. We're not taking them though, because it's a $500 fine. We're putting them back. Right there. Yeah. Right there. That's where we started, was way back there by the dam. All of the fossils. Fossil. If you didn't know that there were fossils down there, you wouldn't know to look for them. There's definitely not like, a giant sign that says Fossil Gorge that way. It'd be easier if we had a funicular. Right. But no, we're poor people so we get to climb the stairs. So this is the other side of the dam and it's just there's a beach down there, boat launch into the reservoir. Little chipmunk. Hello oh, Chippy. Hi Chippy. He thinks he's hiding real good. He's right there. Hello, Jippy. About how the pitter patter of rain is what ended our day a little early. Yeah, it, it's a, a little rainy, so. Yeah, it wasn't in the forecast yesterday, no. and, and it was only a slight possibility. We just unfortunately were on it's the wrong side of It's become a hundred percent possibility. Yeah. So when you see my pictures and it looks like a bright sunny day, it's because I wasn't happy with the gloominess. <laughs> we had a fun day, I would think, yeah. for a, a five-hour trip to get an amazing cheeseburger. We had Mac stops and along the way. We stopped at our original Culver's site in Sauk City. We stopped at Potosi Brewing Company, which is nestled in a very beautiful valley. We saw Shot Tower. Shot Tower in the Mississippi River. You? Dimensional Brewing, which has a really funky mural. We saw a turkey this morning. Oh, there's some pretty good views, except for when we were in Iowa. Oh, that's actually a really good view. Whoops. <laughs> Said that too early. Jerk bag. She gave him a second, and a beautiful view of that we now miss. Now, we did have a cool view in that gorge, plus on the opposite side of the, on the top of the dam as well. Mm -hmm. Hey guys. 
If you like that video, uh, make sure you subscribe and click the little bell icon so that you get notified when we post new videos. Um, most new videos are posted Saturday at 8 a.m. Central Standard Time, and we may post other little videos throughout the week. It depends on how we feel. Thank you also very much for tuning in for this week's episode, and we will see you again soon. Yes. Bye, guys. Bye.